From now on, any asylum seeker who arrives in Australia by boat will have no chance of being settled in Australia as refugees. Asylum seekers taken to Christmas Island will be sent to Manus and elsewhere in Papua New Guinea for assessment of their refugee status. If they are found to be genuine refugees, they will be resettled in Papua New Guinea. Australia believes that it must employ a strategy that, that would deter or stop people from smuggling people and sending them to Australia. Kevin Rudd has said he's taking what he calls this hardline approach to send a warning to people smugglers that all they offer their customers are false hopes. Australia also know that there must be a reason to advance their desire to send out a message of deterrence to the others who have yet to uh, who have yet to come to Australia. And that message was to make Manus and to make Papua New Guinea look hostile. To make us look like a land of unfriendly people. To make Manus look like the land of fierce and aggressive people. Australia knows that Manus people being friendly as they are, Australia had to devise another way to also get the local people to fear the asylum seekers. It was more like a propaganda. So Australia instilled in minds of people that these asylum seekers are terrorists. Asylum seeker and refugee men do not feel safe. They have faced violence at the hands of locals, but also at the hands of soldiers. The soldiers, they were drunk. They attack us by gun. Which kind of, and what's our crime? The first thing that Australia did was create a situation where a riot had to take place. Gunshots ring out at the Manus Island Detention Centre. Armed soldiers tried to break through the gates. The Australian government says a PNG Defence Force member discharged his weapon into the air. The incident is said to have been sparked by a fight between asylum seekers and PNG Defence Force members. The right to place in long run. And if I go through the complete report, the police investigation report, you wouldn't believe it. It was the Australian guards who told the asylum seekers that that night the locals would attack them with machetes, with knives. This statement triggered off fear, it triggered off uh, you know, aggression amongst the, the asylum seekers that night. And that uprising led to the death of the Iranian Reza Barati. So it's really a conspiracy. I have the report still with me today. I kept that report in secrecy. It is a complete police report. I would like to make that report to somebody who can expose it. The whole deal is a conspiracy. Australia cleverly designed this to advance its interest in instilling fear and deterrence on the minds of the potential and would-be asylum seekers and both people. It was Australia, Australia's plan to instigate trouble between the asylum seekers and the local people. It wanted to use the local settings as an environment hostile for settlement and Australia has achieved that. As Australia has now left, Australia has offloaded its moral and legal obligation to the people of Manus and to the people of Papua New Guinea.